well, the bugs are taking over. No new history and no new collages, just bug collages. I did leave my um, patterns at the beach, so I had to make up new patterns, but they're the same things. And I sped this up eight times because this was almost two hours worth of work. I'm a slow bug maker, apparently. Um, but I did find out that my best technique is um, washi tape. It has the most colors The because I wanted these bugs to be bright and perky and um, colorful and uh, no vintage bugs for me. These are all bright, bright, bright bugs that you might find in a tropical jungle or San Francisco because you need to be seen in the fog when you're a bug, right? Right. So I cut out a lot of body parts and uh, wings and bodies and things like that, but I did have the most fun with washi tape, I have to say. And the best washi tape is um, Diane Reevely and Dana Wickley's washi tape because it's wacko doodle colors. And those make fantastic bugs. See? Look at that. Look at that. Anyhow, um... So the, the best thing to do was to just start laying strips of washi tape down on scrap paper and cut out your different parts and make your bugs. Um, and if you cut out too close to a white spot, just add some color with a pen. Anyhow, I had the most fun with these stupid little bugs. And they're all the same. They're all the same species. Um, they're sloth. What do I call them? can't remember. Episode one says what kind of sloth, what kind of bugs they are. Something sloths. Anyhow, I do have a 49ers bug and that's just Spencer wearing a 49ers sweatshirt. Now you'll notice that they're all different. So how can the same people be the same, all these different varieties of bugs? Well, it's just different clothing. We don't look the same. Our outside looks different when we have different clothes on and different coats and different sweaters and shirts and things like that blouses so that's what these are that's my story and i'm sticking to it and i just applied them to some of the pages um and because you can kind of see that I, I i also found that the easiest way to maneuver with them is to glue all their parts to a piece of white photocopy paper um and so I was getting tiny bit of white edges, even really carefully cutting out things. I was still getting white, fractions of white. So I went over everything with a black um, Sharpie and gave everything a black edge. So in hindsight, maybe volume two of The Bug's Life might have different techniques used to make all these parts but oh my gosh these are so much fun these would be oh my goodness oh, i might have to make some more tomorrow um these would be good if you lined them all up and made your own washi tape made then photocopied them and shrank them to sizes and then made your own maybe like inch thick washi tape like some of the stuff that diane does um, oh i could see bug washi tape happening yes 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 anyhow I, my favorite ones have the black and white polka dot uh, bodies. I love those too. Actually, I love them all. Uh, there's and I, this is where I'm gluing them to the white piece of paper, and then because it just gave them some stability, and then um, apply them to the book pages. And I did not show you how I glued them all and cut them all out because it was extremely tedious. Oh my gosh, so much fun. <laughs> I think I am going to have to make some kind of like washi tape or something. This was really fun. You could splatter them around and make a huge piece of paper with them too. Hmm. I can see lots of bugs happening in my life. So the 49er one went on the Fisherman's Wharf one and he's by himself. The other ones have a small sage and a larger spencer because the male in the species is bigger than the female. And I added their legs and their antennas and some eyeballs to all of them. Unbelievably fun. So tomorrow I'll be back with another collage page. Or maybe I'll do some more bugs. I don't know. We could make bug washi tape. 
might have to make some more. I don't know. It might be a bug weekend. Saturday and Sunday. It's Saturday for me, so who knows. And Jerry Garcia, of course, would have bugs. The Grateful Dead would. Anyhow. <laughs> don't get bugged in life. Make bugs. Uh, how could that go? Like those expressions that go, make love, not war. Make bugs, not bad politics or something like that. I like these new versions better than the original ones I made, but still. Oh, look at them all. So thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Don't get bugged. Bye.